Good morning, students. This is Sharada from ZPHS Sri Rangavaram, Mitchell Mandal. Today I'm going to tell about the concept that is logarithms, which comes in SSC Max, that is first chapter, real numbers. This is a new word, logarithms. Before moving on to the concept, let us discuss a few examples here. See, as we know, if 2 to the power of x is equal to 4, 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2. The Here, the bases are equal. So the powers will also be equal, x is equal to 2. And uh, 5 to the power of x is equal to 125. That is equal to 5 cube. 125 can be written in a cubical form. 525 can be written in a cubical form. Therefore, here also uh, the bases are equal. The powers will also be equal. x is equal to 3 here. So if we see, let us see this one. 2 to the power of x is equal to 5. So 5 cannot be written in a square form or in a cubical form. So how we will find out the x value here? So x raised to which value so that it becomes 5. So x will be what, what will be the value of x here? So we have to make a relationship between this 5 and x like uh, the re new relation for which uh, this one, the new relationship is nothing but uh, logarithms. So this is an exponential form. This x can be written log 5 to the base 2. This is nothing but a new relationship. So now we'll move on to some problems. So in this uh, x, what will be the x value here? We'll find out the x value through a graph. We'll work out a graph like y to the y is equal to 2 to the power of x. x will be how much? When y is, so here previously we have taken y, uh, that, that y is equal to 5. Let us find out uh, if y is equal to 5, x will be how much through a graph? So first we'll take a table like this x values will take like this and y values will get will get like this so i will tell this how we got these values in detail here x is equal to minus 3 here 2 to the power of minus 3 this can be written like 1 by 2 to the power of 3 a to the power of minus n is equal to 1 by a to the power of n so that is equal to 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. 2 into 2 into 2, that is 8. So when x is minus 3, y will be 1 by 8. Here, the next one, 2 to the power of minus 2. x value we have taken now, it is minus 2. This is equal to 1 by 2 to the power of 2, that is equal to 1 by 4. We got y value as 1 by 4. Here, see here 2 to the power of 0, x when x is 0. a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, 2 to the power of 0, that is also 1. Like that, uh, we found the values. Next, uh, we'll draw the graph for this. For that, we have to take a graph sheet and we'll plot some points. See here, we'll take, we have, we have taken the scale as one centimeter is equal to one unit. And we'll plot the points. See here, the, this point is two comma four. X is two, Y is four. This point is x is 1, y is 2. And here, look at this point, this point. x is minus 1, y is half. 
half and one more point when x is zero here and y is one when we join all these points we'll get we'll, we'll get a curve closely observe the curve it does not touches the x axis it does not touches the x axis see here it does not touches the x axis or it will cross the x axis also so from that uh, what we have observed the curve come closer to the x axis but it neither touch nor cross the x axis so from this we can find out uh, the value of x so the previously what uh, uh, we have got a problem like uh, phi is equal to 2 to the power of x so x will be what will be the value of x to get the phi see here this is y axis when we take y value as 5 here so join this to this curve and from here when we draw a perpendicular like this to x axis here the point will come and touch so this is somewhere about 2 point and odd so approximately the x value will be 2 change so now we'll move on to properties of logarithms properties of logarithms as we know the properties of exponents which comes in eighth syllabus basing on that uh, syllabus uh, that the properties only these formulas will arise there is a link between those formulae and these formulae see here x y there is a multiplication between these two so when single logarithm is there multiplication is there we'll get plus here when division is there we'll get minus this is a product rule and this is a quotient rule very important to remember when division is there we'll get minus when we write into two logarithms we'll we'll write minus when multiplication is there we'll write we'll put plus the third one log x to the power of n then when come and uh, come before like n log x to the base a and here log a to the base a is one and log one to the base a is also zero these are very 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 important formulae and everyone should learn uh, very importantly in fill in the blanks in fill in the blanks and two marks questions the problems basing on these formulae are these formulae are very important everyone has to remember these formulae perfectly now we'll discuss about the uh, we'll apply these formulas in this table like we, before we have worked out this table so are the values are perfect or not with the help of these formulas we'll verify now see first we'll take as we know from the graph y is equal to 2 to the power of x when we take the y value as 2 y value as 2 this one y value as 2 and x1 x value is 1 these two are correct or not with the formula we'll find out see here 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 1 when we write this one in a logarithmic form that is log 2 to the base 2 when these two are equal this formula log a to the base a that value is 1 therefore this value is 1 1 and 1 so both lhs and rhs are equal so this one is verified now we'll move on to the second let us see here now we have taken y value as 4 and x value is 2 y is equal to 2 to the power of x here 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2. So when we write this one in a logarithmic form, we'll write like a log 4 to the base 2. 4 can be written as 2 square. And uh, we'll apply this formula like a log x to the power of n. n. n will come and sit in the front. So n log x to the base a. n log x to the base a. So here, one more formula, log base 2.
see here we'll take the another one y is equal to 8 x is equal to 3 y is equal to 2 to the power of x here 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 we'll write in a logarithmic form 8 can be written as 2 cube here the 3 will come and sit here so these two formulas will apply according to that we'll get 3 is equal to 3 here also now we will work out some problems very important one mark or two mark questions like if it is given in an exponential form writing in a logarithmic form if it is given a logarithmic form writing in an exponential form here it is a exponential form you have to write in a logarithmic form here the base is 5 here also the base is 5 log 125 to the base 5 is equal to 3 and this is a logarithmic form and this is an exponential form so these problems you may get for one mark and two mark questions now we'll discuss about some four marks questions see the problem like this expand log 125 by 343 125 by with the uh, prime factorization we can write like 5 cube and for 343 also we can write as 7 to the power of 3 so when by is there when division is there the, we have to put minus here minus and uh, this one so uh, these formulas we will use this is prime factorization and division is there minus we will put here and the last formula that is n will come and sit in the print 3 log 5 this one this formula we will see one more problem here the one more problem is this, this one we have to write as a single logarithm so here also we will use the formulas like 2 will come here as a power like 3 to the power of 2 this is 5 to the power of 3 this is 2 to the power of 5 5 will come and sit in the power place so this formula n log x can be written as log x to the power of n this formula we applied in this step first step in the second step see 3 square can be written as 9 5 cube is 125 2 to the power of 5 is 32 between these two logs see plus is there when plus is there will if we write in a single logarithm those two will multiply like like 9 into 125 again these two when we multiply we'll get 1125 and uh, minus is there minus is there in between we'll apply this formula minus is there when minus is there you'll get the division here so in this problem here one two three logs are there we have written the same problem we have done in a single logarithm so this you may get for four marks question four marks question now we'll test your knowledge i have given some problems look at this problem these are very very important if you work out all these problems so the concept will be very easy and when you work out more problems you'll get the perfection and you can do the uh, nothing is there in this you have to know just the prime factorization and substitution and uh, you have to each and every step you have to remember the formula and you have to write the formula also look at this problem these are very important problems here look at the fifth problem this one these are problems you'll get uh, in uh, uh, fill in the blanks or one more questions like uh, here uh, see here this is in a decimal form this you have to write in a fraction form then you have to do these problems so these are all the problems you have to work out thank you thank you everyone for listening thank you